you may start now sir okay okay thank you Let's start. Start, sir. Okay. Thank you. Okay. The board is visible now. Board. Visible, sir. Okay. Okay. It's okay, sir. You may start, okay. sir. Okay. Good morning, everybody. Very good morning. <coughs> Today's um, uh, topic is differential equation. So we are uh, <coughs> starting with a basic concept today. Actually, what is differential equation? The equation. The equation involving an unknown function, unknown function and its derivative, and its derivatives, and its derivatives. So the equation which involves a function unknown function y, v of x or something like that, and its derivatives y dash y double dash y double dash etc. So that kind of equation is called a differential equation. Now, in this differential equation, what is ordinary differential equation? What is uh, partial differential equation? So I am um, saying that the function unknown function. That the unknown function y is equal to f of x. Here, x is independent variable, y is dependent variable. Whatever the value we give to x, the value of y depends on x. Therefore, this y is dependent variable, this x is independent variable. Suppose this unknown function depends only on independent variable, then the differential equation is called ordinary differential equations. Suppose the same function y is a function of x and t, a function of two variables. Here, x and t are two independent variables. x and t are two independent variables. So therefore, that differential equation is called partial differential equation. When we differentiate this way, with this way with respect to x, here there is no partiality, only one independent variable, suddenly we can differentiate. Here, there are two independent variables. So therefore, when we differentiate this with respect to either x or t, here the partiality arises. So this way, that uh, differentiation is called partial differentiation. Here, I have given some examples of differential equation. So this is ordinary differential equation because y is an unknown function. The dependent variable is y, the independent variable x. So this is ordinary differential equation. This is also ordinary differential equation. This uh, up to the four equations are ordinary differential equation. We come to the fifth one. This is partial differential equation. Here, O is the dependent variable. P and X are independent variables. Okay. So therefore, more than one independent variable occurs, then that the differential equation is called partial differential equations. Okay. Then, <clears throat> order of the differential equations. The order of the differential equation is the highest order the order of the highest derivatives appears in this equation. Okay, so 
So order means what? The order of the differential equation is order of the highest derivative appears in this equation. So what is the uh, highest, what is the order of this equation? One. Order is here? Two. Order is here? Three. Here order is two. Order is two. So then here order is also two. Okay. So this is the required order of the, the differential equation. Then I am going to uh, tell you about the important thing is solution. Okay. To see that what is uh, independent, what is uh, independent variable, what is dependent variable. The equation, there are two kinds of equations. One is ordinary uh, differential equation, one is partial differential equations. Okay. Then, <coughs> the solution. Solution of the differential equation is simply I can say that this is y of x. That means the solution of differential equation, the solution of differential equation in the unknown function. And the independent variable and the independent variable x in the interval in the interval i is the function O of x, the function O of x that satisfies. The differential equation that to satisfy the differential equation identically for all values of x in the interval minus infinity to plus infinity. In the interval minus infinity to plus infinity. So this is most important for the solution for the differential equation, then solution. So the solution of differential equation is nothing but y of x. So that, that y of x satisfies this equation, not only a particular point, it should satisfy all the points of x in the given interval. So therefore, the solution is also uh, important. There are many kinds of solutions here. We'll see one by one. Now. Now. Uh, I am asking one question. Yes, y of x is equal to c1 sin 2x plus c2 cos 2x, where c1 and c2 are arbitrary constants. Arbitrary constants. So is y of x a solution of y of x is a solution of y double dash plus four y equal to zero. Okay. So this is you know that you have to check whether this is a solution of this differential equation. So you have to find that y dash of x, y dash of x is equal to 2c1 cos 2x minus 2c2 sin 2x. Okay. So y double dash of x is equal to minus 4c1 sin 2x minus 4c2 cos 2x. This is nothing but minus 4 times of again y of x. Y. Therefore, y double dash plus 4y is equal to zero. So this is very simple. You know uh, very well that. So here what I am coming to say that this is solution is a general solution of this differential equation. Okay, general solution. 
Now, the particular solution is the particular solution is one of the solution. Let's say very simply, uh, simply saying that one of the solution. Suppose let us take let us take c1 is equal to 5 and c2 is equal to minus 3, you will be getting y of x is equal to 5 sin 2x minus 3 cos 2x. Suppose I am taking c1 is equal to 1, c2 is equal to 0, you will be getting y of x is equal to sin 2x. Suppose c1 is equal to 0, c2 is equal to 0, you will be getting y is equal to 0. This is the simple differential equation. This equation has a solution. This is the general solution. If you take a particular pair of values of Cn and C2, you will be getting one solution. So therefore, this equation has infinite number of solutions. This equation has infinite number of solutions. The particular solution is, any one of the solution is called particular solution. Suppose, sir, I have given some examples of particular solutions. Okay. So this is a particular solution of this given differential equation. This is also a particular solution. This is also a particular solution. Okay, so you should know that what is general solution and this is a particular solution. Okay, again, in this uh, general solution, here, we, uh, here it looks like a formula, a single formula. So this single formula, from that we can uh, get many number of solutions by substituting uh, by different values of C1 and C2, we will be getting different solutions. So we can also call it as, this is a single formula for this general solution, for this differential equation, okay? Now, so this problem has infinite number of solutions, okay? Then determine whether the next question is, determine whether, determine whether, this equation y dash power 4 plus y squared is equal to minus 1. Determine whether this differential equation, okay, uh, differential equation has a solution. Determine whether this differential equation has a solution y is equal to x squared minus 1. Okay. See that this differential equation y is a solution, suppose for any function unknown function y of x, y squared is positive, y dash, the whole power 4 is also positive. So therefore, the positive value plus the positive value is equal to minus 1. Whether it is possible, if you take any solution y, if you take any uh, not solution, any unknown function y, Definitely, that unknown function will not satisfy this equation because this is positive, this is positive, the sum of two positive is equal to minus one. Definitely, it is not possible. So, therefore, therefore, this equation, therefore, this equation has no solution. So, so the answer is no, actually. Whether is it, is it a solution for this differential equation? Answer is no. So therefore, this kind of differential equation has no solution. The another thing is, suppose, another thing is, consider another equation, the same equation for y dash power 4 plus y squared equal to 0. 
equal to 0. Okay. You consider this equation. What will be the solution of this equation? What will be the solution? Definitely, this is positive. Whatever you take the value y, this is positive. This is also positive. The sum of two positive numbers is equal to zero. What are the possibilities? What are the possibilities? The only possibility is y is equal to zero. Y is equal to zero. See that? Here, no solution. So this is not a solution for this differential equation. Here, this differential equation has no solution. No solution. Okay. So now we have three kinds of solutions. Three kinds of solutions. Uh, differential equation. A differential equation has infinite number of solutions. A differential equation has uh, no solutions. A differential equation has a yeah, finite number of solutions. And the solution. So therefore, another question is, I already told that any general solutions will be uh, in a single formula. Not like that. Consider another differential equation. Consider the differential equation. Another consider another differential equation that is nothing but y dash plus y squared is equal to zero. Y dash plus y squared is equal to zero. Okay. What are the solution of this differential equation? See that. Immediately we can say that the same uh, argument, the same argument, the same argument, definitely co is equal to zero is a solution because this is positive. This is uh, the same argument that for uh, y dash, uh, okay, uh, y dash plus y squared is equal to zero because y squared is positive, okay. O is equal to zero because y is equal to zero, uh, uh, y squared is zero, o is equal to zero, y dash is also zero, therefore it is zero. And uh, I can take, O is equal to 1 by x. O is equal to 1 by x. Leave O dash is equal to minus 1 by x square. O is equal to, is equal to plus 1 by x square. Therefore, this is also a solution. So, therefore, this equation has two particular solutions. This equation has two particular solutions. So, therefore, here, any general solution, any general solution, Cannot, cannot always be expressed, always be expressed in, in a single formula, in a single formula. Okay. So always the general solutions cannot be expressed as a uh, single formula. That is most. The next is initial value problem IVP. What is initial value problem? What is initial value problem? A differential equation along with Subsidiary conditions. Conditions on unknown function. Unknown function and its derivatives. And its derivatives. All given all given at the all given at the same value of independent value independent variable. so what does it mean that the subsidiary equation in the sense some conditions we have x is equal to something when x is equal to something, y does not x is equal to something, when x is equal to something. 
that x is there, no, that if we have the same value of x, the equation is called initial value problem. The problem is called initial value. For example, I'm telling you that consider the differential equation y double dash plus y dash, which is equal to some e power x, some e power x, and y of phi is equal to 1, and y dash of phi is equal to 2. See that. This is a differential equation. In unknown is y. Okay. Then independent variable is x. Okay. So these two equations are called, these two equations are called subsidiary equations. Subsidiary equations. Understood? Here, the values x is equal to pi. Here is also x is equal to pi. So therefore, the subsidiary equations are equations are given at x is equal to pi or given for both at x is equal to pi. So therefore, these conditions are also called initial conditions. These conditions are also called initial conditions. The problem is that this problem is also called initial value problem. Initial value problem. So therefore, the say the x is the suppose we have the same values of x, same values of x. The problem is called IVP. Okay. Then immediately we can say that what is boundary value problem? What is boundary value problem? The same thing. If if the subsidiary conditions are at more than one independent variable. If here, if the subsidiary conditions are are given at more than one, more than one independent variable. Okay, then the equation is called, then the problem is called boundary value problem. Problem is called boundary value problem. So similarly, we can take y double dash plus 2y dash is equal to e power x and then the subsidiary conditions are y of y of 0 is equal to 1 and y dash of 1 is equal to 2. Okay, y dash of 1 is equal to 2. Here, the, there are two subsidiary conditions. Here, x, the independent variable, here there are two different independent variables, values of independent variables. Okay, so there are, uh, we need, uh, there are two different value of independent variable we have. Therefore, this problem is called boundary value problem. This problem is called boundary value problem. Then, <coughs> standard form. Standard form of the first order differential equation. So this is nothing but y dash is equal to f of x comma y. All first order differential equations will be of the form. This is called standard form. So then we will discuss one by one whether it is a variable separable, whether it is linear, whether it is homogeneous, or something like that. Okay. So this is nothing but this is the standard form of this is a standard form of first order differential equations. Okay. Now, this y dash always appears in the left side of the equation. Okay. The right side of the equation also always can be written as. So the left the y dash is always appear in the left side of the differential equation. This f of x y. This f of x comma y is 
always can be expressed always can be expressed as m of x comma y divided by minus n of x comma y whatever the function you have in x and y that will be written as m of x comma y divided by minus n of x comma y so therefore this is standard form also can be rewritten as m of x comma y into dx this is nothing but divided by dx into dx plus n times of x comma y is equal to 0 okay so this is a standard form again that also can be written as this this is also called the standard form of the first order differential equation okay now we will see one by one suppose this f of x comma y can be written as suppose if this f of x comma y is nothing but m of x y by uh, minus n of x comma y this can be written as minus p of x into y plus q of x suppose that f of x will be like that will be like that here this equation is called linear equation this equation is called linear equation why you say that it is linear the standard form is y dash is equal to f of x comma y or otherwise m dx m of x comma y into dx plus n of x comma y into dy is equal to zero again this also can be written as and again this also can be written as y dash plus y dash plus p of x into y this is equal to q of x. This is equal to q of x. All the things are same. f of x is equal to this. f of x is equal to f of x comma y is equal to y dash. Therefore, y dash plus p of x into y equal to qx. This is also we can, we can be written as this. Then, so this is called linear equation. This is called linear equation. In general, in general, n of x into y plus a1 of x into y dash plus a2 of x into y double dash plus etc etc plus an of x into y n of y n plus some p of x equal to zero p of x is equal to zero so this kind of equation is called linear equation. This kind of equation is called linear equation. Here, that a naught of x, this is most important, this a naught of x, a1 of x, etc, etc, a n of x, comma p of x, do not need to be linear. That is most important. Here, maybe x square or x square plus 1 or something like that. Here, x power 4 plus x power 5 or something like that. But again, we can say that this is linear equation. So, therefore, the uh, y dash and y, uh, uh, mother the y dash uh, can involve y, y dash, y double dash, y triple dash, all the derivatives can involve, but can be involved. But this a naught of x, a naught of x do not possess do not need to be the linear to be the linear that is most important this is called linear equations this is called linear equations okay then one more important thing is if y dash plus p of x into y equal to q of x into y power n into y power n this is linear equation 
this is y dash fx plus u plus pfx into y is equal to pfx y power n. This equation is called if uh, the equations like like that, then this equation is called Bernoulli's equations. This equation is called Bernoulli's equations. Okay, this is called Bernoulli equations. Here, n is equal to zero or n is equal to one. This equation reduces to linear equation okay if n is equal to 0 linear equation if n is equal to 1 again you will get your y so therefore the same uh, linear equation understood so therefore what is linear what is Bernoulli what is linear what is Bernoulli then what is homogeneous All the equations we are talking from the standard form. Okay, so the standard form in the standard form in the standard form f of x comma y is homogeneous if f of x comma y is homogeneous then this equation is called then this equation is called differential equation is called homogeneous differential equations homogeneous differential equations what is homogeneous what is homogeneous you know that a function of tx comma ty this is equal to f of x comma y so in, in the particular case if then that function f of x y is called homogeneous equations that means so the degree of x and y are same the degree of uh, x and y yeah, are same okay then the degree in x and y are same so this equation is called homogeneous equations Then variable separable equations. That is separable equations. Simply we say that separable equations. Separable equations. Here, if m of x comma y is equal to y of x and n of x comma y is equal to b of y then the standard uh, form becomes a of x into some m of uh, sorry a of x into what is that dx plus b of y into dy is equal to zero so, so then automatically taking integration on both sides you will be getting the solution. You will be getting the solution. It's equal to what? Uh, the, the example of the solution, suppose you will be getting a function of x. Here is function of y. Therefore, you will be getting again, it is a function of x and y. It is a function of again, x and y is equal to some constant. Equal to some constant. Okay. So, therefore, this is variable separable. Then, the one more uh, important thing is, Exact differential equation. Variable separable, then exact differential equation. Here, suppose the differential equation m of x comma y into dx plus n of x comma y into dy is equal to zero when we say that this equation is exact differential equation if dou n by dou m by dou y is equal to dou n by dou x 
do m by do y which is equal to do n by do x if it satisfies then this equation is called then this equation is called exact differential equations then equation is called exact differential equation okay then each type of equations we have some method to solve it we have some rules to solve it so the, how the solutions will be okay how the solutions will be so so far what we have seen that what is linear number 2 is what is homogeneous bernoulli 3 is homogeneous 4 is separable equations 5 is exact okay so there are this five important uh, um uh, um uh, kinds of equations in first order difference equations okay now what about the solution of separable equation what about the solution of the separable equations okay so here simply already uh, already told that this is very simple integrating a of x into dx plus integrating b of y into dy is equal to some constant c equal to some constant c okay but here uh, the function of x and the function of y again ultimately will be getting the function of x and y is equal to some constant okay but we we hope to get y is a function of x okay for solving this we should get y is a function of x it is little difficult to find this so we can find the approximate solution for this differential equation okay then i can say that exact i can say that uh, this is a solution of a separable variable then homogeneous will come suppose suppose this homogeneous equations number 3 homogeneous equation is which type so this is equal to uh, y dash is equal to m of x comma y divided by minus n this is a general form so the same uh, degree so the degree of the variables x and y are the same therefore let us take y is equal to sam vx or something like that you know that i am not going to solve it simply we are going to discuss y is equal to dx after substituting it that is divided by dx is equal to v plus or something like that if you substitute it that homogeneous equation after substituting it you will be getting the homogeneous equations in terms of v and x then that equation reduces to then this equation reduces to linear equation then equation reduces to linear equation okay so therefore separable equation it is very simple how to solve it then homogeneous equation homogeneous equations also can be converted into linear equation so linear equation how to solve the linear equations the linear equation is y dash plus p of x into y is equal to q of x this is a linear equation okay here you know that the integrating factor you have to take it so that is the integrating factor is nothing but i of x y you could integral e power integral p dx you know that very well okay 
So this P of X, you have to take it as integrating factor. Then the solution becomes O into E power integral PDX, which is equal to integration of O e into Q of X DX plus C. So therefore, this is the solution of the linear equations. This is the solution of the linear equations. If you derive it, it will take time. So this is a solution. You all uh, know pretty well also that. So this is linear. Then I am coming to Pernod. Then I am coming to Pernod Lee. Pernod Lee equation is substituting a z is equal to o into o power moment. <coughs> Pernoulli's equation is at this equal to O e power simply one minus n. Simple, very simple. Okay. So therefore, you will be getting after substituting this, you will be getting the linear equation. The Pernoulli equation reduces to linear equation in terms of z. Then we know that how to solve it. Then we know that how to solve it. So therefore, how we know that what is linear, what is Bernoulli, what is homogeneous, what is separable, then the last thing is exact. The last thing is exact. You know that already we discussed what is exact. Do n by do x is equal to do m by do y. If these two conditions are satisfied, then the equation is called exact differential equation. Okay. Then you know that how to solve it. You will be getting the function c of x comma y is equal to c. So therefore, this is nothing but a solution of exact differential equation okay that you know now suppose this differential equation is not exact suppose this differential equation is not exact suppose this differential equation is not exact what will happen this do n by do y minus do n by do x not exact means this is not equal to zero that is that is also not equal to zero so then what we do this equation is possible to this equation is possible to transform transform into Exact differential equations. Exact differential equations by multiplying the by multiplying the standard integrating factors. Standard integrating factors. Okay. If it is exact, we know how to solve it. If it is not exact, that the equation is also converted or transformed into exact differential equation. How? That is multiplying some integrating factor of x comma y into m of x comma y plus n of x comma y is equal to that is uh, not m. This is tau m by tau y minus, uh, or otherwise simply I can write integrating factor of m of x comma y plus n of x comma y equal to zero. That given differential equation is multiplied by some integrating factor that 
differential equation becomes exact differential equation. Exact differential equation. Okay. Now, but how to find the integrating factor? That is most important. How to find the integrating factor? If 1 by n into, if 1 by n into dou m by dou y minus dou n by dou x equal to g of x, a function of x only, a function of x only, then we will take, then the integrating factor is equal to e power integral p dx, p of x into dx. So this is not zero. If you multiply uh, by 1 by n, suppose you get g of x, a function of x alone, then you have to multiply it by this integrating factor. That so equation becomes, that equation becomes an exact differential equation. Number two is, if this 1 by m into, this 1 by m into dou m by dou y minus dou n by dou x equal to some h of y, a function of y only, then let us take the integrating factor is e power integral h of y into dy. Okay. The another thing is if if the m is equal to suppose if m is equal to y into f of x y suppose it is not in j of x this is this case is also fine. Then yeah, suppose m is equal to y into f of x, x y and n is equal to x into g of x y, x into g of x y. Okay. Then the integrating factor is then i of x comma y is equal to one by x m minus y n. One by x m minus y n. Okay. So therefore, these are all the standard integrating factor of the exact differential equation. Okay. Then applications. First order differential equations. What are the applications? Number one. This is Grow and decay problems. Grow and decay problems. Number two is temperature problems. Number two is temperature problems. Falling body problems. Electrical circuits, electrical circuits, and orthogonal relativities. Orthogonal relativities. So these are all the applications of first order differential equations. This is, for example, I'm, uh, I'm giving you. There are a lot of applications. Uh, uh, application is there for uh, first order differential equation. I'm going to give one application.
the first application grow and decay prompts okay it's general i'm going to tell i'm not going to take a particular problem suppose let n of t denote the amount of substance for example population or something like that the amount of substance okay let n of t be the denote the the amount of substance that is either growing either gr growing or decaying okay decay okay now dn by dt dn by dt you know that the rate of change of the rate of change of amount of substance amount of substance with respect to the time t with respect to the time t okay here uh, i am going to say that this this time rate of change uh, this time rate of change of amount of substance is proportional to proportional to the amount of substance amount of substance present amount of substance present the meaning of this okay that means dn by dt that means dn by dt is proportional to n is proportional to n that is again i can write dn by dt is equal to some k times of n some k times of n if it is growing k may be greater than or that is positive if it is decaying this is radius so this, this is proportional now this equation becomes dn by dt minus kn is equal to 0 minus kn is equal to 0 okay so this is the first order differential equation this is the standard form also so therefore this will be solved by using the linear okay so therefore i am not going to solve it so this this kind of uh, situations will be converted into a differential equations that will be solved by using our methods okay so not only that newton's second law not only that newton's second law also saying that f is f is f is equal to some m into something like that these are all applications of uh, differential equations today i am concentrating only in the first order differential equations so far number so far what is when we start what is differential equation what is differential equation number 2 is what is dependent variable what is independent variable independent variable then number 3 is number 3 is what is uh, uh, ordinary differential equation what is partial differential equation okay one by one we will see that then what is the solution then standard form then standard form 
Transit from we have seen that. What are the differential equations in that? Linear. Then Bernoulli. Then homogeneous. Then uh, homogeneous. Then uh, separ uh, separable equations. Then separable equations. Then linear, homogeneous, and separable equations. Then exact. Then how the solutions of these equations? How that the applications will apply? Okay. So uh, I can. Uh, I think uh, uh, we can stop now, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay, stop now. We will uh, pass some question hours and also have okay. the time now. Participant, there is any question? Kindly raise your hands. We will give you a chance to ask the question to the our resource person. Participant, there is any question or clarification? Kindly raise your hand or type in the chat box. We will give you a chance to ask the question to the resource person. question Now, so I, I have given the structure of uh, first order demonstration. I have not uh, solved any questions because of uh, time constraints. So you should know the structure, the skeleton of uh, first order uh, differential equations. One more occasion, we will uh, uh, discuss the higher orders. Okay. Now, because, because of time constraints, um, I have given uh, this kind only, structure only. Okay. Any questions? Um, uh, um, any questions from audience? No, sir. There is no question. Okay. Okay. I will check okay. in the chat box as well. Okay. Sir, explain the application of differential equation to Laplace transform. Ah, uh, Laplace transform. Uh, solving differential equation by using Laplace transformation. That, uh, that is only you are asking? Yes, sir. Yes. Here, we have certain uh, 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 transformation we have, that is Laplace transformation. Did you know that this is equal to uh, Laplace transformation of a certain function f of x. This is unknown function, l of y, or something like that, l of y. Okay. So this is nothing but 0 to infinity e power minus dx uh, <coughs> into f of x dx. This is very simple uh, transformation. Okay. So here, uh, this uh, applying this uh, Laplace transformations, that uh, linear uh, uh, differential equations will be converted in the Laplace form. Okay. Not using any method by uh, regular method, by using this Laplace, L of, uh, L of Y we have, L dash of Y we have, L double dash of Y we have, after applying this, that differential equation can be converted into, in the Laplace form. Okay. So by using it, we can solve it. It is uh, equivalent to solving the differential equation. That's all. Hello? Okay, are you convinced? Con 
any other questions this is one way of uh, solving the differential equations by using law class application it's a very simple concept nothing else is there so next was in okay. how to solve fractional order differential equation with the time delay system in matlab matlab that is different kind okay matlab is different that we have to look in i am not concentrating on that okay that that is separate concept so that uh, there uh, some uh, uh, software is there matlab software is there okay you can uh, all the things are simplifying into yes small things okay so by using a uh, matlab so you have to uh, put all the data all the data into the program you will be getting the solution so the no risk no time uh, nothing is there whatever the data you have put it in your software that the software that matlab uh, matlab will give you the result directly okay so this is a software okay sir thank you sir Welcome. finally our okay. head of the department proposed the order thanks bismillahir rahmanir rahim i deem it a great honor conferred upon me to propose word of thanks first of all i express my thanks to almighty god for the successful conduct of this two days faculty improvement program a lecture on advances in linear algebra and the differential equations i am very much delighted to express my gratitude to the president haji mj jamal mamat bilal sahib secretary and correspondent dr ak kaja najimuddin sahib the treasurer haji mj jamal mamat sahib and the assistant secretary dr k abdus samar sahib of the magnificent management of this esteemed educational institution for their unstinted support for this excellent faculty employment program my thanks are due to the principal dr s ismail maidin for his whole hearted support for this program and my thanks are due to the vice principal and the additional vice principal also my thanks to all the directors it is needless to say that the participation of dr m alagappan hod of mathematics and controller of examinations yadava college madurai has brought great honor to this eminent educational institution his two days lectures are of great value and significance to the academic universe gathered in zoom online platform my words of appreciation and thanks goes to all the staff members of our institution and the other institutions and all the students participants your participation e certificates will be received after 10 days thank you thank you one and all